I was down to my last $40 in my bank account. And I said, it's got to happen. This has got to happen. And uh, <laughs> it happened. Yeah. Brad Sims had been a professional BMX rider for more than a decade, competing in the X Games and riding around the world. I've ridden my bike in 105 countries. But in 2019, he found himself with no sponsors and wondering if it was time to curb the bike for good. You can be grinding for 10 years straight, but if you don't see it through to the 11th, you'll never know. So oftentimes people give up. For Sims, the 11th year was 2020, the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, and for him, the start of a new life. I knew people were inside looking at their phones. Everybody was in quarantine. People were bored out of their minds. You couldn't be in groups outside. Sims saw opportunity. Where do I go if I want to create the most noise? So I said, Instagram. I said, I'm not going to listen to the industry anymore. I'm going to do what I want to do. And we just started going out and filming clips. And every day we were dropping new clips. <laughs> On the empty and quiet streets of Austin, Sims was making noise on his bike that was heard and seen all over the world. People were jumping out of their seats. Every day I was dropping a new video. People were sending me messages and like, hey man, I'm I get up in the morning and I'm looking forward to your new video. The next video that you post, I got my morning coffee. In a world confronting the pandemic in real time, Sims was a bright spot during often lonely days. It's inspiring, like when you become like a shaping force in somebody's life. So all the, the people sending me their, their stories and talking about their struggles and how my riding and what I was doing motivated them it was also helpful, it benefited me. It kept me going. It's been pretty amazing. It's been pretty much like watching your friend just like skyrocket. It's about as good as it gets. Sims and his crew kept pushing, hitting landmark spots around Austin to post jaw dropping video after jaw dropping video. Lots of pedaling around town. We pedaled around the city more than I've ever pedaled with anybody before. Some days were eight, nine hours. Some of the tricks took more than one day too. You know, he's trying the hardest stuff he could possibly try. What has never been done here? And we go find the craziest thing there. Like, well, nobody jumped from this building to this wall or grinded down this rail. <laughs> There's nothing like being first. It's Sims's outrageous and fearless riding style that helped one of those videos grab more than 10 million views. The viral success eventually landed him some of the biggest sponsors in the game, plus the 2020 BMX Rider of the Year Award. His personality is very calm and collected, and his riding is pretty buck and wild. <laughs> Brute strength, power, yeah, with a, a touch of finesse. His unique skill set and explosive success now have him in a position to empower the next generation of riders. I think that's one of the most damaging things ever for a kid to look at another person on a bike and say, well, I don't have blonde hair, blue eyes. I can't do what he's doing. You know, you don't look like me. You're not black. And like, that, you like fun. I like fun. And that's what I put it. I labeled it like, this is fun. We can go over here. You can do this. And for Sims, the fun is just beginning thanks to his late career resurgence. This is everything that, that I want. Now I'm in a position where I can invest in my future. I can take care of myself. I can help other people better their situations. This is like the dream now, I can say.